What's up, everybody? BT in the garage, coming at you with another final take. This is the CMB Knives Dharma. And we're going to give you the, the rundown, right? So what you got here is a bigger knife. I love this thing so far. A couple things I don't like. We'll get into it. Overall length on this is 210 millimeters, so 8.26 inches. Blade length is uh, 94.5 millimeters, 3.72 inches. Uh, blade width is 28.3 millimeters, so 1.11. Blade thickness is 3.8 millimeter. Handle length is 4.54 inches. Blade material is M390. This one is a black stone wash. This is also black titanium carbon fiber. Weighs 4.55 ounces. The hardness, the HRC, is between 59 and 61. And it runs on ceramic ball bearings. And it's a liner lock. All right. We're, we made it through that part. So, this is kind of an awesome... I mean, it's not kind of... It, it's an awesome knife, man. I mean... A lot of things I like about this knife. Number one, the grip. It's extremely comfortable here. Super comfortable, choked up. Has that full finger choil. It is a flat grind. Um, has the slot for one of your deployment options. It is super sharp. At least feels super sharp. Uh, it is a liner lock, as said. Has a milled clip. It is right hand carry only. Kind of a downfall. It's a cool milled clip. It uh, has a lanyard hold for you lanyard guys out there. It has really awesome uh, carbon fiber. Really like it. Right, The lock works great, although it hits flipper tab. As you can see here, you have multiple deployments, a flipper tab, a top flipper, and your, your slot. And it's got a backspacer that is it's kind of unique. It matches the it's indention of the pocket clip i like it i like the slot open works great right detent is solid it's not the strongest but it's definitely not weak either i'd say it's perfect for what this is um the flipper push button works great absolutely wonderful light switch works great absolutely wonderful top flipper unfortunately sucks because you have a flipper out here I've, I've mentioned this before the only design that i like that has a top flipper flipper hole appointment kind of thing is like emp edc's nimble right it, it works because it's a slot here that's straight and then your your flipper right the problem we have here is your finger wants to be here when your thumb wants to be here. And see, it's already resting there. You got to hold it down here. Makes it doable. Doesn't make it extremely comfortable. Makes it doable. Right? But that's the whole thing. You have to be way low. And even, even that low there, it still hits. So you got to be way low to use it. And, and that's, that's my problem. Just skip that. This works really well if you like the flipper. And the hole obviously works great. And I'm almost positive, yeah, you can flip, thumb flip it right off the hole. So if you're going to have a top flipper, you, you you can't have this, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. I, I just, that annoys me. Just get rid of this and use that or get rid of that and use this. But don't, don't have both because I want to be here. And unfortunately, when you're there, you can't because it just straight up hits your finger. I don't want to be way down here because then this kind of hurts. It's got jumping on it and it goes around. It's a weird kind of, it's it, it, just, a, it's not working for me, that part. Everything else, amazing. I like the uh, drop point blade. I like the overall design. I like the black. Um, this looks, it's hard to see that it's stone washed. It is, but it looks almost PVD'd. Um, this part, easier to tell is stonewashed. Uh, so how's it carry? Well, I haven't had a problem putting this in or out of the pocket at all. 
with a milled clip. It's not completely deep carry, as you can see there. It's definitely not completely deep carry. Sorry about the shake, guys. I, I'm on a different bench, and the, the mount's mounted to the bench. <clears throat> but it's but it's easy in and out of one hand, no problem, right? Um, sharpness. Well, I got to find another piece of paper because I don't have one. I don't have one. Let's see. Let's see. I got to crumpled up something over here. Is it sharp? I'm pretty sure it's sharp. This paper is doubled up right now. Yeah. Well, see if I can. See if I can. Yeah, it's sharp. You just can't run into a crimple. It's definitely sharp. It's just my paper is all wet and crumpled up. Um, so it's sharp out of the box. If you want to put your own edge on it, awesome. Put your own edge on it. Damn, I keep shaking this bench, man. I gotta, I gotta fix that. I gotta get something else going for that. Um, um, but all in all, I really enjoy this knife. I, I think it's I think it's a great design with, you know, some flaws. Obviously, every knife has them. Get rid of the top flipper or get rid of the flipper to have the top flipper. One or the other. Make it left and right-handed carry. It's a liner lock, guys. If it's a liner lock, it, it needs to have a reversible pocket clip. And, of course, that is just my opinion, right? None of that is fact. That is my opinion. The fact is, this knife, a great design. Um, but that's also a personal opinion, right? Some people are not going to like the drop point or they don't like the forward finger choil because they're losing blade. Well, you got quite a lot of blade there. If it's everyday task, that knife's going to do it, no problem. Now, let's talk about price. $298. $300 almost. It is a large knife, guys. It's not small by any means. Um, it is a large knife. That you know, almost a four-inch blade. You're getting titanium M390, a beautiful carbon fiber. There is a milling on the inside, by the way. If you can see, there's milling in there. So you know, and it's not as heavy. The giant mouse I just did before this. Is heavier than this. Well, it feels heavier. It's not. It's actually a little bit lighter. This is four point. What did I say? Four point five five. I think the other one's four point three. I mean, they're pretty dang close. And this one's a lot bigger than the other one. Anyway, I like it. I think it's awesome. If I can, I'll link it down in the description below. I did see that uh, some of these were on Amazon as well, so I'll, I'll link it through Amazon if it is. Um, anyway, I'm seriously impressed with this knife. It's been a great knife. Um, I hope you guys had a great weekend, great week, great day doing whatever it is you're doing. If it's not, make it great. That's up to you, right? Your decision. Uh, get out there, do something positive for yourself. Do something positive for somebody else. Make yourself happy by making somebody else happy. Always take care of and respect your veterans out there. And, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.